Hi guys, I'm Greg Buffet, uh, Dunny Venture Capital based in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, good to be here today. So if you don't know, Dundee VC, we're a seed stage venture fund. Um, we write mainly 250K to 750K checks in the middle half of the country. So we've worked with Blair on a few deals. And now that Blair uh, says it takes 10 years, this feels like seven years premature to be doing this talk. But nonetheless, we'll keep going. Um, so that's me. That's the best looking photo I've had in the last three years. Uh, my first day on the job. So I got this job straight out of college. Um, I was an intern for a year at Dundee VC from Creighton um, in Omaha and then took the role full time right out of school. So there's only two people at the firm, Mark Hazebrook and Beth Engel, the founding partners at the time. And what we talked about was what is my role at the firm? And, and we ended up saying my role is to make data driven decisions, help, help us use data um, to make decisions and be better as a seed stage fund. Um, so this is Peter Drucker saying you can't manage what you can't measure or what you don't measure. And so at the end of the day, the KPI for our fund is do we return money to our LPs? Um, but there's a lot of intermediary KPIs within that. So my KPI um, as a member of the venture fund was do I bring deals? Do I help us get better um, at that end KPI, which is returning money to our investors? So this is the best book I've read. Um, in terms of communicating with both our founders and Mark and Beth, our partners. Um, it really helped me get a feel for how I interact um, with our funds and then with also our founders, which was, was one of the most difficult things for me. Um, being a VC right out of school is how do you interact with founders who have a lot more experience on you. So these are some of our founders, uh, Maria of Built-In, Alec of Abodo, and then Greg and Erica Fuji, our latest investors. Um, so what I learned the most is as a VC, just get out of the way for the most part. Uh, it, going in, wanting to make my mark, I wanted to work a lot with these founders and felt like I could add value, um, but realized quickly that the best thing I could do was just get out of the way um, of our founders. They know what they're doing and try to remove roadblocks. So Mark has, uh, he had a company called Hay Needle and Sequoia and Insight Venture Partners were investors and he said what they did best was show up to a, a board meeting once a quarter and everything he could ever have answered, every, every problem he needed to solve, they could solve right there in 30 minutes and they could do that. So get out of the way um, was the best thing. And then the other thing is fill the gap. So every single company that we invest in, the founders have different skill sets and different qualities. So we looked at, for ways we can fill the gaps both internally and our team. So I'm the numbers guy, Mark and Beth, other operators, and then with our founders as well. One thing I learned was quality over quantity. There's, that's Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. There's a ton of churches in the world. There's a ton of search engines, but focus on quality. So what helped, what really brought that home for me was deal flow. So it felt good to say, hey, I'm looking at 25 deals this week, or we see 3,000 you know, pitches a year or X pitches a month. Uh, but at the end of the day, we have to make 20 good investments in our funds. So focusing on quality over quantity kind of helps me focus on my work a little better. Um, and then Mark, Mark Andreessen had a podcast recently said, the good is the enemy of the great. So that was Snapchat's kind of TSA advertisement. Um, their advertising is awesome. I think it's great. Um, and when we think about deals, that's what I've learned too, is, is don't worry about good deals and what feels good. Look for the great deal. It, it might look like an outlier. There might be a lot of controversy, but that's what you've got to focus on. Um, and then read. So as Blair said, I, I think one of our advantages and what I've learned as a young VC is like you can always read more. Um, and when, when you don't have multiple kids, like you don't have to worry about... Uh, you know, time in the day, spending time with them, and you can just read and learn. So these are some of my favorite blogs. Um, and then learn by doing uh, was the biggest thing. I learned just went out there and played on offense. So we call these fire drills. We've had plenty of them that I've caused in the last three years. Everyone gets all hands on deck and say, hey, we have to fix this, probably because something I screwed up. Um, our biggest one was we had the, the paper run a list of all our investors in the Angelus Syndicate that we had done, their names, their professions, their titles. And we had to call all of them that day and say, hey, our bad, we didn't run this by you. Um, we didn't know this was going to happen, but it happened. But we ended up getting a million bucks out of it, so the syndicate was fine, and we got through it. Just learned by doing. And then relationships are everything. So Tim and Molly um, are in this room. I think that's the other thing is build good quality, long-standing relationships as that will impact us over the next few years. And then this is what I think my value is to the firm now, building relationships with other VCs, um, getting, knowing cap tables and helping our companies understand financing risk, if we can take that out of the way. That's great. Um, and then getting out of the way of our founders and, and finally returning money to our investors. That's our final KPI. That's my contact info. You can't read my email, but it's Greg at DundeeVC.com. So feel free to reach out to me. That's it. That was fast.